time. Now, as you see with Dak Hurt, uh, they have the longest odds of any team in that division. But so look, what are they going to say? Stephen Jones and Mike McCarthy saying everything is going to be fine. Uh, Marcus Spears' face suggests he doesn't think so. Is the season over in Dallas, Marcus? Yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's over, <laughs> I'm just taking some notes right quick. Taking some notes. What are you writing? I'm going to I'm gonna get to you right, right, right in a second. Okay, guys, <laughs> I just made a list. I just made a list, guys. Okay? G, do you remember when we sat on this show and I said the New Orleans Saints got more debt than the United States of America? And when the Saints, the Saints signed Jarvis Landry this year, remember they got mm -hmm. Jarvis Landry over from Cleveland? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give y'all yeah. a list because because I, I, I y'all know how much I love the Cowboys. I'm a fan. But, but I don't want... I don't want the world to 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 be unrealistic, okay? Because every time something happens and every time something transpires and I'm looking at players and I'm thinking about what all these teams have done. <laughs> I'm writing one more down, G. I'm going to give you a list. Hold on. Hold on. He's on the transactions list right now. He's on the transactions list. Here we know. go. So so here, here we are. The Las Vegas Raiders. They went and got Devontae Adams and they signed Chandler Jones. Yep. The Saints signed Jarvis Landry. The Philadelphia Eagles signed A.J. Brown. The Rams went and got Allen Robinson this year, and we know all of the moves that they've made here up, up prior to winning the Super Bowl, like going to get Matthew Stafford after they went to a Super Bowl with another quarterback. The Miami Dolphins got Tyreek Hill. The Bills went and got Von Miller. The, the Los Angeles Chargers signed Khalil Mack and J.C. Jackson this summer and paid them money to come play. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers signed Julio Jones, and I don't care what you think about Julio injury history or whatever happened. Julio Jones went to Tampa and he looked like he in his second year in the NFL. What's up, Grimes? What's up? You know, no, so you what know, you we, had, we had graphics people. We could have put this all in <laughs> no, like a no, graphic. No, I don't want the graphics people. Go ahead. Uh -uh. I make my own damn graphics. All right. All right. <laughs> so, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. We sat here for months and talked about <laughs> The Dallas Cowboys roster is bad. The Dallas Cowboys offensive line is jeopardized. Matter of fact, they sent Lyle Collins. I don't think Lyle Collins is a world beater. He better than what they had uh, against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers <laughs> last night. And Connor Williams oh walked God. out the door, didn't think he was great, went to Miami. Oh, Miami signed him too. So, guys, when, we, when I put this list together and we think about the NFL and where we are in the NFL today, I want the Dallas Cowboy fans to honestly think about this. Do you think your team and your front office is really trying to win a Super Bowl? Or do you think it's just talk and it's fool's gold and we're okay with what we have? We like our guys. No, you don't. You can't like your guys if you're trying to win a Super Bowl because I just ripped off a bunch of guys. And let me explain this to y'all also. I didn't put the Cincinnati Bengals on here who spent $180 million on an offensive line this year okay so so for everybody out there that's thinking about oh the cowboys this and the fans and they gonna get mad at Stephen a when he take when, when he go in on the cowboys and michael Irvin gonna say something about the cowboys are one player away and they can sustain and it's doable <laughs> it ain't it's a wrap and it was a wrap before the season started because they wasn't winning no super bowl anyway be so wait, before that got hurt go ahead I guys make sure I'm but, understanding but, what, what we're saying dominique he's saying that this is not about dak that this team wasn't any good anyway. Is that right? Absolutely. I mean, I think he said it before the season started. I know I sure as hell was. I, I think that the pressure that we were putting on Dak to lift the roster that was c incomplete Absolutely. and had major holes in it was unfair. So, like, I hate that Dak got hurt, but at least we don't have to have these arguments all week where I try to convince y'all that nobody could have nah. lifted this roster because they can't protect him. And he was bad. I'm not trying to absolve him from the criticism. He deserves the criticism. But this team was not prepared to make a run. Their run was last – their run ended. Their window it closed last year thank you for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus